So it's time to see the summary. We are done with the chapter, so let's condense all the important information in one or actually three slides. So check out this table. I got it from the book. It's table S1, summary of reactor mole balances. So you have here a diagram of every reactor. This is batch reactor. This is the continuous tier tank reactor. As you can see, you have the inlet here, the outlet here. You got your plug flow reactor, inlet, outlet, and the generation goes inside. And the pack bed reactor, which is inlet, outlet, plus the pack bed here. Comments, no special variations, so you got everything the same. No special variations plus steady state in the CSTR. Steady state, steady state. Okay. I will actually say it's perfectly mixed and plug flow reaction uh, plug flow in the pipe or reactor. There's a plug flow. And there's a packaging and there's no pressure drop. Okay. So the mole balance differential form you got here, you got non-differential in CSTR, you get rid of that differential value. You get this one and this one. This is in flows. So let me write that flows. Actually, you want it in concentrations, just go here. You will find out that actually they're very, very similar. This one goes here, and this one goes here, okay? And the algebraic form is essentially just available on the continuous tier tank, so it goes here. And what else do we have? Well, no, I think it's essentially everything. So if you actually want to develop this differential equation, you will get this integral form. So you get this value here, you, this thing is not available because there is no mole or differential form. Also this and this. Just let me tell you that it's the same process, it's the same derivation. The only thing you get here is take out the differential values and yeah, you're done. So that's the table for the molar balances. Now let's continue with the theory, which I think is also important. Probably at the beginning you think it's not important, but once you are actually using those reactors, you want to know them. For example, characteristic of a batch reactor. You can read them. I'm not going to read you. I'm just going to show you that you can read them here. You got also which type of phases are recommended. Uh, these are the typical, but of course you can use other type of phases or even a mixture of phases. Uh, the typical usage, small scale, yeah, it's okay but you, I've also seen huge batch reactors so it's not that like obligatory or mandatory to be having the, all this okay the advantages of having this batch reactor and of course disadvantages uh, this you have batch reactor continuous to your tank reactor which actually is this tank mixed inlet and outlet here and the last, last slide is the plug flow reactor, just remember it's a pipe. And the pack bed, you have your packaging here. And yes, yeah, essentially once again, you can have the faces here, the description or characteristics, the advantages, disadvantages, and applications. So I strongly recommend you to read this at least once or twice so you have an idea of what type of reactor you're analyzing and why should you pay attention on it so yeah essentially that's all my summary you want to see more questions and problems please make sure to visit this web page go to the courses and I'm going to upload some or actually a little bit more of what you can find in YouTube and in Slicer so go to reactor engineering. I've also got lots of solved problems there in this chapter number one. So yeah, let me do this uh, another video. See you in the next video. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? 
it really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.